There's a voice keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on So if you want to join me for a while Just grab your hat and we'll travel like that's old style Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Say that, kid. Oh, uh, oh, dogs are dumb. That's what they call them, dumb animals. Is that right? Seems to me you owe that pooch an apology. You could have been under that rig. Ah, uh, I could have made it. Your dog doesn't think so. Here, let me tell you a story. Maybe another time. I gotta go catch up with the guys. You got lots of time for that. Come here. Let me tell you a story about the smartest dog I ever met. It was on the Gainesboro Chappaqua run. I was a trucker then. Of course, I sort of had to fit all the pieces of the story together. But it all started with these folks who were honeymooning in their motorhome with their little daughter. Well, the wife's little daughter, that is. All I said was I thought the trip might be a little tiring for her. Eileen's own father didn't love her. I want to make up for that. I think this is important, Scott. I'm not her father. I mean, I am her father now, and I love her very much. Well, you got to admit, taking a small passenger along with us on our honeymoon isn't exactly customary. Scott, watch out! You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you? Uh, yeah, fine. You better uh, check on me. Yeah. She's fine. She slept uh, through the whole thing. Good for her. Well, we better check the damage. Well, the inside's okay. Hey, what are you doing here, huh? <laughs> what a beautiful dog. Hey, honey, would you get those wedges from inside? I want to block these back tires. And that must have been when Eileen, their little girl, must have been when she woke up. Because while her mom and dad were fixing that blowout, Eileen, for some reason, just wandered off into the forest. Lord knows why. But this dog I'm telling you about, he turned out to be a real guardian angel.
who's here? Hey, Big Sam! <laughs> hey, look out, Big Sam! <laughs> you could have knocked me over when I heard you on the CV. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You're looking pretty good. You've lost some weight, eh? Only about 20 pounds. Hardly makes a dent. <laughs> but you sure are a sight for sore eyes, Fanny. Well, you say that to all the girls, Sam. <laughs> yeah, but I mean it with you. Ah. <coughs> Ain't that the same pooch we saw over at Eatonville? Time of the flood there? Oh, it sure looks like it, doesn't it? <coughs> I could use somebody like you in some of my long hauls. Oh. Want to join me for a sandwich? <laughs> Listen, listen, Big Sam, I'll tell you what's happening. I'm staying over at Harrigan's on the way back. How about you and me having dinner there tomorrow night? Negative. Negative? All the truckers eat there. The food's lousy. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, that dog's going in your cab. Hey. Gotcha. <laughs> Looks like I got myself a partner. Yeah, well, you better be careful. He might bite. <laughs> I got away with dogs. Yeah, and with women. You know, I think I'm going to go back and fix something to eat. Eileen must be starving. So am I. Eileen? Eileen! Scott! What's the matter? She's gone! Hey, Lloyd, take it back. Easy. I'll be with you in a minute. Easy. Now, cut it! Cut it sharp! Why do you have to drive? So what happened next? Just be patient, you'll hear. No, no, not that sharp! Your foot off the other side! Okay, that's better. Ease it back. Easy. Easy. Okay. Hold it! That's it. Now, uh, where was I? The parents had just discovered that the little girl was missing. The kid was all alone in the forest, and the dog was trapped in your trap. Aha. Uh -huh. And that's why the little girl almost got herself into real trouble. But I'll get back to that. In the meantime, her folks but had reached the But what happened to Eileen? Just keep your shirt on. Can't tell you everything at once. Now, as I was saying, her folks had reached this gas station and called the police. The owner says you were the last people to buy gas here. He doesn't recall anybody else passing by. Not many people using this road. Yeah? I notified the rescue unit, and they're standing by. Okay, Mr. Phillips, can you remember the spot where you stopped to change that flat tire? Oh, I could try. There might be some skid marks. Okay, Mr. Phillips, you get in the back with Corporal Simpson, sir, you get in the front with me.
seconds, huh? All right. Just for you, I'll sacrifice myself. <laughs> it's a date. See you tomorrow night. Yeah, hey, listen. Good luck with your new partner. I hope he doesn't talk your ear off. We're gonna get along just fine. Okay, see you later. Hey! Hey, you! Come back here with my sandwiches! <laughs> well, <I'll> be... <laughs> She's somewhere upstream. Get the grappling hooks. We're gonna have to drag the string. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Phillips. Uh, we gotta exhaust every possibility. Sure. Sergeant, uh, look, I want you to level with me. With your experience, what are our chances? Well, it depends. There's always the possibility that somebody found her. Oh, boy, oh boy. I hope you're right.
Don't rush me. I can't expect a man to talk on an empty stomach. What happened next? We don't know. Don't know? Nope. You want some? I ain't hungry. You must know. You gotta keep your strength up, kid. Here, take it. Okay, I'll eat if you talk. We never did find out what happened that night. Not the next day, neither. I guess while the little girl's folks were biting their nails, convinced that they'd lost her forever, and the police and the rangers were doing everything they could to find her, Eileen and the dog must have just wandered around the forest. Anyway, the next night, they came across this pickup truck. I guess they must have been real tuckered out. Because they just climbed into the back of that truck, crawled under a tarp, and went right to sleep. Sandwiches. Right. Hey, hey, you! Come back here. Hey, stop, thief! Oh. <laughs> That's jail for you, Buster. Well, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, I heard it on the CD. Sure fits the description. Yeah, here, honey. Stay, Doggy. Come on, girl. Come on. There we are. Yeah. My mommy. Do you want your mommy? Well, we're gonna fix that right away. Yes. <laughs> That's what you were trying to tell me. Now I was too dumb to understand you. Okay, so you see what I mean. Dogs ain't so stupid, right? Right. And that goes for your dog, too. Thank you. Thank the dog, lady. I got a hunch he's done all the babysitting. <laughs> well, I'm glad it all worked out. Hey, uh, you got a license for that dog, mister? Who, me? <laughs> I don't even know his name. Get lost, dog. <laughs> now, obviously, you have a home if you want one. Oh, well, honey. I don't think he's a home dog, but I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get you a little pup that'll grow up to be just like him, all right? Oh, and I have something else for you right now. What? Come on. Hey there. Uh, you're not supposed to know. Ta-da! Teddy bear. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I think it is about time that we got you home. Well, I think it's about time that we all went home. In you go. Watch your step. There's a voice that keeps on calling me down the road, that's where I'll always be. Every stop I make, I make a new friend. Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again. Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down. Until tomorrow I'll just... 
Borrowing it, that's all. Uh... What are you doing home? You're supposed to be in Riverside. Yeah, I was sidetracked. A baby? Yeah. Where did she come from? From heaven. Don't all babies come from heaven? So if you want to join me for a while, just grab your hat, we'll travel like that's old style. Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down. Until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on Until tomorrow, the whole world is my home 